What if you could turn any API into an MCP server in just seconds? No custom code, just point, click, and build. Hey everyone, Sterling here. Today I'm excited to show you Postman's AI Tool Builder, the fastest way to go from APIs to fully functioning MCP servers that extend your AI's capabilities. As AI becomes more integrated into our workflows, the ability to give models access to real-time data and services is critical. But building these connections manually is time-consuming and error-prone. That's where Postman comes in. Let's get started. Let's we'll start building our first MCP server using Postman's MCP Builder. In this case, I'm gonna to go to my workspace and I'm gonna choose the public API network. So API network up in the upper left, view all public APIs. And in the left side, you're gonna see build AI tools. Now, this MCP server builder is actually connected to Postman's public API network. And it has over 100,000 publicly available APIs. So I'm just gonna search. I'm gonna do CoinGecko. and I'll go to the public API. I'll choose trending. I'm gonna click on the simple and we'll do search. And now I just add these to my request. And now generate. From here, now I can download it. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you what to do next. In the instructions, we're gonna download the zip file, unzip the file, Open the README and in the unzipped file and follow the instructions for the next steps. So we'll download this. All right, it's all been downloaded and I'll go to my files. Here I've got my downloads folder, my folder that has all of my MCP servers and a terminal open. Now, what I like to do first is I actually like to change the name. And this is CoinGecko, so I'm gonna call this CoinGecko MCP. And now I'll unzip it and just drag and drop this right into my other MCP servers. And using my terminal, I'll open this up in code. I've opened up the MCP server in cursor and let's go and explore some of the files and folders you're gonna see here. I've got my commands, my library, and then my tools. Tools is where all of the APIs exist. So if I drop this down, we'll expand this. You can see I've got all my search queries here. And then I go, I've got my .env file. This is where I'll copy and paste my API key. I've got my git ignore, docker file, index.js. Uh, and then the bread and butter of what I'm looking for is the MCP server.js file. And this is actually the entirety of the MCP server. Then I've got my package JSON and the readme. Let's go through the readme real quick and walk you through the steps. In my shell, I need to run npm install. Then I'm gonna need to copy and paste any of my API keys. And then I can rerun it. I can go run this node index JS and tools, and that will give me a list of all the available tools. So let's go and copy and paste my API key into the .env file. Okay, I've copy and pasted my API key in, and now I'm just gonna run, open the terminal and run npm install. Now let's go back into Postman and test this. So what I'll do first is I'm just gonna copy the path for the MCP server and let's go back into Postman. Now back in Postman, I'm gonna go new and I'm gonna go to the MCP request. And in this case, I'm gonna type in node and paste in the path for my MCP server and hit connect. And sure enough, there it is. My, my MCP server is connected and I can go through and use it. Let's run this and see what comes back. We'll query Bitcoin. So we'll say Bitcoin and we'll run this. And we've got Bitcoin coming back. We'll preview this. You can see the coins that are coming back. Bitcoin, unwrap Bitcoin, Coinbase. We've got all, this, all of these coins coming. Uh, we'll see what exchanges they're on. We can see the icons, categories, and NFTs that have Bitcoin in it. So now I've verified that this MCP server is working and it's working as expected. So let's go open this up in Claude. Now to pull this up into Claude, I need to first go to Claude settings. We'll go to developer and we'll edit the config. This will open up and we'll open this up back up in cursor. In cursor, let's go back to the readme file and we're gonna scroll down until we see this JSON. And I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste this in here. 
Now we need to know the server name. We're just going to call this coin gecko. And based on what we got from the readme, okay, we want to make sure we know the, our node path. So I'll type in which node here. We'll copy this. And then we need the absolute path to the server. And for me, I just copy the path here. All right, this is saved. Now let's go right back into Claude. We've saved it. We're gonna have to close Claude and restart it. So we'll quit, reopen it. And then when we click on the search tools, I should see CoinGecko open up. And you'll see that I have my search queries here. So can I tell me, is the current price of Bitcoin from Coin Gecko. We'll choose choose always. Now I'm going to go and save this. We're going to call this coin gecko MCP. We'll add it to a new collection. We'll just call this uh, MCP servers. Hit save. Now that I have this, I can now share this with my team. And there you have it. With only a few clicks, we were able to make an MCP server using Postman's public API network. With over 100,000 publicly available APIs, you're sure to find an API that can be used in one of your MCP servers. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more AI and API content. Thanks for watching.